I want you to watch this. After several years as a member of the United States ski team and a professional racer, look at this. Our next guest became one of the understandably small number of men and women who practiced the art of extreme skiing. Was that it? <laughs> Was that it? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome extreme skier Kim Reichhelm. Kim? Now, I know uh, we, we had to work uh, the word extreme into your introduction five or six times so people would understand this is not normal skiing or cross-country skiing. <laughs> this is something beyond what we may be accustomed to. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. And the clip that you showed is not normal mm -hmm. either. <laughs> now, now, tell us about that. Where was that? And that was you. And were, were those, was that rented equipment? <laughs> That was at Squaw Valley in Squaw California. Valley. Is, is that the, the best place for this kind of skiing? Well, in the United States, it's one of the best uh -huh. places. The California Sierra Mountains have great, you know, extreme vertical terrain. Right. And so it's really, you, you skate up to, skate up, ski up to a drop-off and then just kind of toss yourself down. Is that, is that it? Well, yeah, you don't toss yourself down, but you have to change your ski to be at the same vertical that the terrain is so that, right. that you land and... Don't wipe out like I did in okay. the shot. We're, we're going to look at some more uh, film of you skiing here, and just I guess you can tell us what we're looking at. That's that, geez, this that is looks brutal. Re remarkably I have to similar keep watching to what we saw this a minute out. ago. Now, were you injured when that happened? I um I hit my head mm -hmm. in that when I when I fell through those rocks. What happened was I jumped into the terrain and the snow broke out from underneath yeah. me, and I started tumbling. And because the terrain was so uh, now, I don't steep, know what that means. You, you keep saying train. What is that? Terrain. Oh, it's terrain. I'm terrain. sorry. <laughs> But it's like the Metro North. You just, well, you can either ski down or get in the train. <laughs> um, uh, and, okay, and we have more footage of this? Three more. <laughs> and I don't know. Let's, let's just take a look at all the footage we have here. Of I this, was in uh, Squaw Valley with uh, Greg Stump Productions filming a movie license. Oh, oh no! Oh. Man! Now, how fast are you going there when you, when you hit the tree? I wasn't really going very fast, yeah. um, but it didn't matter because the tree didn't move. Um. Yeah. Uh, and you, were you injured badly in that spill? No, I wasn't. I, really? I, I was not injured at all when I hit the tree. Actually, there's some audio uh -huh. in that shot, and I was laughing because I spent my, most of my career ski racing, and yeah. the fact that I misjudged the turn and hit the tree was pretty funny, and luckily that, that I wasn't hurt. Yeah. I was, the difficult part of that maneuver was after the tree and into a gully, and then I was supposed to do a re-entry move, and my concentration was beyond the tree, and I was looking at um, the maneuver that I had to make after the tree, so I wasn't really looking at the tree, and I thought I was going to miss it. Now, if, if you skated, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> if you have skied competitively, uh, on teams in, in college and uh, I guess is it World Cup? Is that the right. what we're competing? Right, uh, And it's all downhill and maybe slalom, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Uh, why then are, have you moved on to this? Because this is not a, an ongoing series of competitions per se, is it? No, it's not. What happened was when I retired from ski racing, I really wanted to continue to challenge my skiing. So I challenged it through more difficult terrain. Yeah, I but I mean, it, but also it looks like you could really get yourself hurt pretty badly here. Well, you can, could. can you make any money at this? Um, extreme skiers, some of them do. The yeah. guys that ski with um, Warren Miller and Greg Stump make some money. Some I mean, of the these best are the people who see. shoot those films that we always see. Right. And so forth. The yeah. film that I was shooting, License to Thrill, with uh, Stump Productions, yeah. they, we make some money. Now, do we have some more film? <laughs> hey, what a surprise. <laughs> Here we go. Show us and tell us what this is. This is uh, the Palisades at Squaw Valley, one of the first days we were shooting. The most difficult part about making these films is these are, these are the first turns of the morning. So you don't have a whole lot of time to, to warm up. First turns of the morning, yeah. meaning you're... Meaning this is about yeah. um, 7 o'clock in the morning before any of the lifts are... <laughs> Now, but you, you have injured yourself, haven't you? I mean, you hurt uh, some uh, knee yeah, or thigh muscle? I did. Yeah. I've, I have been hurt skiing. Um, I blew out my knee mm -hmm. last year. <laughs> now, are there other women doing this? There aren't very many women doing yeah. this. I think that what happens is a lot of women get involved in competition, and then once they're done with the U.S. ski team, they move on to other things that they want to pursue in their life. Yeah. I um, stayed in the ski industry. I produced a series of promotions for women called the K2 Women Ski Adventures. Mm -hmm. So I'm skiing all the time. I'm involved in the industry. So I have an opportunity to ski quite a bit. But at one point, aren't you going to look back on this and say, man, I'm nuts. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into skating. <laughs> 
seems to be pretty dangerous also. Um, yeah, well, uh, do, you, do you have uh, trouble with chapped lips? <laughs> uh, and you're also a windsurfer, I understand. That's right. Yeah, pretty good at that. Where do you do most of your windsurfing? I live up in the Columbia River Gorge area. Th that's beautiful up there, it isn't is. it? It is. It's, it's an, an ideal life. It is. Yeah, it, I would guess living there, it would be hard to believe that the rest of our planet might be in trouble. <laughs> well, the trees are going away pretty quickly. Are they really? There. Oh, yeah. There's... From where, where do they go? They're, they're going to Japan, from what I understand. Really? <laughs> Souvenir hunters? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Congratulations you. on uh, your knees. Well, is this... We'll be right back here, folks. the men who do this react to you? Do, they, do you get along all right with them? They're very supportive. Yeah. They yeah. are. They've taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. Good. Working with those guys a lot. And, and they don't want to see you, they don't dare you to do dumb things. Oh, no. They take and they, care they of you? They discourage me. They help me. you? Yeah, yeah. they okay. help me a lot. Good for you. Uh, my thanks uh, to uh, Kim, who is right here, and also Timothy Hutton. By the way, uh, Preludes to a Kiss at the Helen Hayes Theater on Broadway. What is this? It's a play he's doing. Is he doing it now? Oh, right now, it's currently uh, in production. So if you're over there, go see it. Uh, tomorrow night on the show, Carol Burnett and the Cowboy Junkies. Good night, everybody.